Oh, uh, Tom, Tom, it's so, such a pleasure to be on your show. Thank you so much for having me. Been a long time. This is book number 11? This is 12. Number 12. So the last time we talked was when you came out with uh, book number 11. How long ago was that? That's been, that's probably been about 10 years. Yeah. yeah. So it's been a long time, yeah. It's been a long time, man. Yeah. I, know you, I know you're busy, but why so long? Well, this is a... Uh, uh, you know, you, you, I do a book when I feel like doing it, mm -hmm. and then when there's a need in the marketplace, so there's a need for this book because really most of us don't have a purpose. This is self-leadership based on the philosophy that you can't lead anybody else until you first lead yourself. So especially relevant for uh, African Americans and uh, people who are looking to try to um, understand how to create a process for success which we don't get in school. We just get memorizing, taking tests, repeat the information back, get labeled with a grain two weeks later, we forget the information. And then we're doing the same thing over and over every single day. We're taught to be workers, not thinkers or developers of our own lives. Mm -hmm. Because we don't know how to take information and make it relevant to who we are. We have no identity. And we assimilate and we adopt everybody's identity by our own. And it starts with self-actualization. So I wrote this book, and I have a nine-step success process that teaches you how to define yourself without having the world define who you are and make you a, pretty much a passive slave. Can any of us be leaders? Of course. Anyone? Yeah. yeah. There's a process for that. And the process is you first have to have a purpose. If you don't have a purpose in life, then you're just you know, going around looking for this and looking for that and going nowhere. And all of us are equal because everybody has 24 hours. The question is, what do you fo you know, what do you do with your 24 hours? And and if we can focus on transforming our energy from negative to positive, from from good to bad, from from uh, I mean, from bad to good, from hate to love. The key to this is love, and how you begin to organize your life around everything you love, and then take information and empower that. Stephen, I've always heard that in order to be a great leader, yeah, you must first be a great follower. Well, you, you first have to lead yourself. I mean, in order to be a great leader, you have to you have to have discipline. And you, you can't learn to lead until you learn to follow first. Right. Follow. You're able to follow, and you're able also to lead. And, and followers are great leaders because they can lead themselves. I mean, if you don't have the discipline, if you don't have the intellect, if you're not thinking. If you're not learning, if you're not developing yourself and building building yourself, if you don't love yourself, how can you love anybody else? So it first starts with self-care. Do I care about myself? Do I take care of myself? Do I groom myself? Do I do I go to school? Do I, do I try to build value in myself? The value that you give yourself is the value the world gives you. The world sees you as you see yourself. So if I can change the perception of yourself, then I can change your value. What do you believe about yourself? A belief system. Well, it's, it, he, can you give him identity leadership? Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, he's he he has to be conscious of his own power, mm -hmm. and what he sees around him, you know, he mimics. So you know, it starts with the parents first. You know, the, the children are only as good as the parents. So if the parents don't read, the parents aren't developing, the parents aren't building, the parents aren't self-actualizing. You know, he picks up those same habits. So he, you know, the key today is to find out who you are and find out you know what you're passionate about again purpose is is the way that you organize information without a purpose you're not going anywhere and we got 6.9 million people and 6.9 billion people in the world who are waking up in the morning to wash their face brush their teeth get something to eat get the kids off to school work all day come home in the afternoon spend time with the family watch tv they go to bed maybe they dream that's monday and so they repeat that same cycle. They aren't going anywhere because they're not focused on taking information and making it relevant. In my life, what changed my life was understanding the value of information and knowledge. And taking that information and knowledge and applying it to what I love, to what I care about, to who I, what, who I am as a person, and to create my own identity. And, and so the Is process... Is that a moment? 
Was that a moment for you? Well, it was a process for me. It was a journey for me to discover that because, you know, in a relationship with Oprah, I can't get comfortable. Mm. So, you know, I walk out the door, people defining me and taking away my identity. So I had, to, I had to look for my identity, not on the outside, I had to look for it on the inside to be able to save myself from depression, to save myself from feeling bad about who I am. So the only way I could save myself is to find out who I was as a person. She knew who she was mm -hmm. and what she was good at. I didn't know who I was and I was thrown into this. Well, how long ago was this? Well, about 31 years of age, I began to realize, uh, as I began to travel around and work for this guy named Bob Brown, I realized, oh, you know, I had a race-based consciousness. I thought it was about race, and I realized, no, your problem is not race. Your problem is you don't know who you are, mm -hmm. and you can't self-actualize your potential. So for me to find that, otherwise you get very comfortable with life, and so life doesn't teach you any lessons. For me, it's a lesson every day. Mm -hmm. So I had some self-awareness. So when you create awareness about who you are and what you have to do to survive, you go to the pit, and you got to go deep into the pit to figure out, you know, what makes you tick. You know, why do you learn, why do you do things that you do? Where did you get that from? You've been in that household for 17, 18 years with your parents. What did you learn? They did the best they could based on what they knew. If they'd have done, known better, they'd have done better. So what we're, what we're surrounded by is information that doesn't teach us how to self-actualize our potential, makes us very passive. So we, we become followers, and let some, we let somebody else to control our destiny, and we turn our power over to the to external world to define the, who we are. And whoever you turn your power over to will always define you as less than. How's your consulting business? Good, man. Business is really starting to, with this new book, it's really starting to happen. And you train corporations? You corporations, leaders, uh, you know, mostly all, everybody's 6.9 billion people are followers. So that's corporations, that's mm -hmm. students, that's community college students, that's, you know, that's family members. That's family members, <laughs> that's everybody. You know, I got a big market. So, uh, so be, you stay pretty busy with I'm, your I'm starting to get busy now and developing some alliances and partnerships. I just announced a partnership with. Uh, Ariana Huffington and starting to do another partnership with a large company down in, in Nashville to create content so I can go anywhere in the world and download this content in schools. We're in the schools. Um, download you. this content to anybody in the world. And this is a great book uh, right now as you're looking at for graduation gifts and things like that. It's Beautiful for graduation because you yeah. just come out with a degree looking for a job and you have no skills and you got to go back to, uh, to school to figure out what you should be doing, yeah. right? 21st century says you got to be a self-directed learner, a lifelong learner, and you got to be able to think. That's not happening. Right. Identity leadership. Stephen Graham. Tom, thanks so much. All right, steady. All right. We appreciate Take you. Take care. Thank you. I got